fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Foxwood Canyon! At midnight, the little town of Benton slumbered peacefully under a dark and moonless sky. No lights were visible, and the Benton Bank, from all outward appearances, was completely deserted. Inside, however, and by the glow of a bullseye lantern, four men knelt before a huge iron safe. At least drill on that hole beside the lock, will ye? Yeah. All right, hand me that blessing, buddy. Here you are, Bat. Now the tin funnel. Here. Hold it, will ye? So when I pour the powder, it'll sift into the hole, understand? Yeah. All right. Now, hand me the mud, kid. Huh? What, what'd you say? A can of mud you're holding. Give it to me. Oh, uh, you never should have brought this kid along, Bat. He's nervous already. I Shut am up, not. Shut Steve. I... You no more nervous than you were in your first job. Give me that mud. What are you doing that for, Pat? You see, kid, first we packed the groove with blast and putter, then sealed it up with mud. And when it explodes? Uh, just blows the door off. Don't ruin the safer what's in it. There, Rose said. Now give me the fuse. Here. And Steve. Yeah? Well, that's in the street in front of this joint. When this thing blows, it's going to wake a lot of people up. One of them might be the sheriff. I know. But what you don't know is this. I don't want any shooting, see? If the sheriff or anybody else makes a run for this place, you're to nail me the rope. But no gunfire, understand? Yeah. That's why you're on this job, Steve. Because you can handle a rope. I'll nail him. Wait a minute. Take the kid with you. Go on, Lauren. Oh, bad. I, I want said to... go with Steve. You might learn some. Mm, all right. Now we we just light this thing and skedaddle over in the corner. It'll blow forward. I hope Shut it. up. Here it goes. Come on, move. I don't think it's... Yes, gonna... it is. Hug the floor, Wingy. Small kid. Hurry. We've got work to do. <coughs> Grab these sacks. Well, the whole town will be here in a minute. Uh, we won't. Here. They're shooting. I told Steve to use the rope. I quiz it. Come on. What's the matter? Don't look who I said no guns. It was a kid, not me. Here they come. Where is the kid? Right here, man. I'll I save can... it. I'm for the horses. We'll have to shoot plenty now. This way, man. This way. Can't make me take that dumb look, kid out. Come on, your horses to ride. Here we need to carry this sack. Where are we going? The hole. Head for the hole. Get up. Come on and get up there. Get The 
following day, on a trail not far from Benton, the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian friend Tonto stopped to rest their horses in a small grove of trees. Oh, Silver Wolf, and oh, oh, oh. Oh. We rest a while, Tonto. Steady. Shady here, and there's good water. Ah, uh, sun plenty hot. Weather like this. Uh, Tonto, listen. Uh, somebody ride this way and ride fast. Two of them. There's so much dust, I can't. Tonto, one of them's a girl. You right. Man first, then girl. They're headed right for these trees. We better keep out of sight for a few minutes. Here, Silver, over here. Come, Scout. We keep quiet, Tonto. I'll never know we're here. Ah. Whoa, 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 steady there, whoa. Please, Lawrence, don't go, don't. Stop following me, Paul. My mind's made up. Come back home, Lawrence, please. I'm 21, I'll do what I want to. But not this. Not what you're going to do now. you break Paul's heart. Please come back home. I've got a right to live my own life. Of course you have. But... There's no money in ranching. No fun either. Lauren, please. If not for my sake, for Paul. My mind's made up. Goodbye, Flora. I'll be seeing you. And don't follow me. Get up there. Come on, get up. Excuse me, miss. You seem to be in trouble. Can I help? Oh, a masked man? Who are you? That's not as important as why you're crying. I'm crying because... Because... Why should I tell you... You must be an outlaw, too. You're wearing a mask. The boy who just rode away an outlaw? No, of course he isn't. It's my brother, Lauren Mitchell. You didn't want him to leave, did you? No, I... I don't know why I should tell you about it, but I've got to tell somebody. I may be able to help. Well, I'm Flora Mitchell. My father and brother and I live on a ranch in the valley. At least we did until Lauren began to get restless and wanted to leave. All boys feel that way sometime. He started to talk about how dull it was on a ranch... Now, exciting it would be to be an outlaw. An outlaw? Then he said he was going to ride to Boxwood Canyon and join Bat Walton. You know who he is. I've heard of him. Bat Walton's gang are murderers and thieves. Lauren disappeared for three days. I'm afraid he found Walton and joined him. But wasn't it Lauren who just rode away? He came back home this morning to tell us he was leaving for good. Pa didn't say much, but it broke his heart. He was so proud of Lauren. And you tried to stop him? Didn't do any good. He's convinced he wants to be like Bat Walton or the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger isn't an outlaw. I know, but... Tonto, bring up the horses. Uh, who was that? Now don't be frightened, Flora. Now, this is Tonto, a very good Indian friend of mine. How? Oh, you rest a long time, Kimasabi. Too long, Tonto, because we have an important job to do. Come here, Silver. <laughs> Silly big fella. Now, don't worry too much, Flora. I'll try to find your brother and bring him back. He won't listen to you. Maybe he will. You ready, Tonto? Uh huh? Me ready. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Come. Somehow I trust him. The Lone Ranger and Tonto rode steadily north for several hours until they came to an old and abandoned Indian hut. It was a place they rarely used, and only in an emergency. Oh, oh, Silver, oh, come, oh, Tonto. You have to work fast, Tonto, steady. <laughs> I want to reach Walton's hideout before sundown. Uh, you take off now. Yes, I'll have to use a disguise. Uh, time to fix it. Hurry, we have no time to lose. Uh. Working rapidly and using certain wild berries and herbs, Tonto mixed a secret preparation, which he then applied to the Lone Ranger's face and hands. When he had finished, the disguise was complete. Where the Lone Ranger had stood a few moments before, there now was another man, deeply tanned by sun and wind. Yeah. It done. Good. Uh, Tonto, I want you to wait here for me. I'll return as soon as I can. You bring boy back? No, I'm afraid it isn't going to be that easy. I've got to convince him that an outlaw's life is wrong. How? Steady, big fella. <laughs> I'm going to join Bat Walton's gang. Adios, Tonto. Adios, Kimasabi. All right, big fella, let's go. Come on, Silver! Carefully picking his way, the Lone Ranger rode toward Boxwood Canyon. Everyone knew that somewhere among its steep and winding trails was the hideout of Bat Walton, but few men dared to investigate. As he approached the canyon's mouth, the Lone Ranger wasn't surprised to see a man directly in his path, a man who was apparently fishing lazily in a little stream, but whose rifle was within easy reach and whose gun swung freely from his hip. Oh, boy, oh. Howdy, stranger. Hello. How are they biting? Uh, just making up their minds. 
You live around here? Yeah, back in the hills a piece. You come a long way to fish. Yeah, maybe. Say, that's a likely-looking horse you got there. I like him. You've got a good-looking horse, too. What? How do you know anything about my horse? He's over there behind those bushes. You can't see him. I'd say he was a pinto. How'd you know? With a big white patch on his right side. Say, how'd you know that? The red hairs on the inside of your left knee and white hairs on your other trouser leg. Oh, smart, aren't you? I'll prove I'm right. No, you won't. My cayuse is hidden in them bushes and he stays hidden. I'll just wait till I get my rope. That is all right. Uh, maybe I can rope that horse and bring him out in the open. You're a pretty smart fellow, but you can't rope what you can't see. Maybe. Watch this. I'll bring him out. I was right. He is a fellow. I'll be. Never saw such roping in my life. Well, you swung that string over 40 feet. And you couldn't see the horse. How'd you do it? Saw the bushes move. So I knew about where he was. Over 40 feet away. Well, I've seen a lot of hombres pitch a lasso, but you top them all, stranger. Uh, what did you say your name was? Hey there, boy. Take this rope off of you. There. I, uh... I didn't say. Could be Tex. Oh, from the panhandle, huh? Uh, what you doing in this neck of the woods? Just riding along and thinking. Yeah. Right now, for instance, I'm thinking about a man named Bat Walton. Bat Walton? Say, who are you? I might be a friend of his. Yours, too, if you'll take me to him. No, no, I won't. Never heard of him. I think you're a mite too curious to stay healthy, so I'm gonna... Better keep it in the leather. I always shoot first. Ah, as quick on the draw as you are with a rope, aren't you? Quicker. Now, uh, let's talk about Walton. Who are you, anyway? You, you come ambling up here, throw a rope like it was a trained snake, and, and pull a gun before I can scratch my ear. I want you to take me to Bat Walton. I can't. Oh, yes, you can I know his hideout is somewhere here in Boxwood Canyon. I know you're a lookout to keep strangers from wandering in. Well, I'm not supposed to take up with nobody. I'll explain that. Oh, just say I'm a footloose cowpuncher who's anxious to make some money, but not anxious enough to work for it. Mm. Bat won't like it. I'll risk that. Well, come to think of it, Bat was saying just last night that he, he needed a good man who could handle a rope. And you sure can't handle one. Then what are we waiting for? Get your horse. Come on. Winning the confidence of Wingy, that Walton's lookout, the Lone Ranger was led through tortuous back trails and across cleverly hidden passes known only to the outlaws. Finally, they emerged onto a level plateau where two men lodged outside a cabin. Ain't up. Whoa, oh, boy, whoa. Now, this is where we lay over when we're not busy. Steady, big fella. Where's Beth? Uh, it must be in the cabin. Come on. This here's Steve. Steve, meet Tex. Glad to know you, Steve. Did Beth tell you to bring him up here? I'll explain. Yeah? Uh, this is the kid. Name's Lauren Mitchell. So you're Lauren Mitchell. Well, what of it? Nothing, I just... Wingy, you know my orders about strangers. Oh, sure, sure, Bat, but this is one hombre I figured you'd want to meet. Well, I want to meet anybody, I'll do it myself. Well, he can handle a rope better than Steve. Aye, Hold you, it. You're... With that gun back, Steve. I'll do all the shooting around here. He can't. Can so you're handy with a lasso, huh? Fairly good. Steve ain't so bad either. You think you're better than I don't know. Get his rope, Wingy. Right away. How about you, Steve? I'm ready. Listen, stranger, I don't know who you are, but if you're a roper, prove it. I'd be glad to. All right, spread out, both of you. Yeah, here's your string, stranger. When I fire my gun, you both start swinging, understand? The first one down loses. All right. <laughs> curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to 
continue our story. Disguised as an ordinary cowboy in the Boxwood Canyon hideout of Bat Walton's outlaw gang, the Lone Ranger faced a crucial test of courage and skill. The outlaw leader had ordered a duel of lariats. Steve, whose dexterity with a lasso was undisputed, stood confidently at one end of the designated field. The Lone Ranger faced him at a distance of about 40 feet. As the sound of Bat Walton's gunshot echoed against the canyon walls, the outlaw's rope seemed to come alive. It spun for a fraction of a second, then leaped forward with the speed of a striking cobra. See how you like this? Uh, Steve's all right. Look at that. Not bad. Yeah. But he missed that time. How's the new fella? Why is Steve swinging so short? Oh, saving his slack. When he lets it out, it'll hit him hard. No. What'd I tell you? The critter can't stand up against that. Look. The stranger's got his rope spitting. Uh, if that ever hits Steve, he'll... He can't dodge. Look. Yeah. Sneaking right under his feet. And over his head. Dodge. Oh! He nailed him. Hey, you can't... Why, it sneaked up on me when I wasn't looking. Yeah, I... around your neck and feet with one loop. Yeah, hog tie. I tell Shut you, it sneaked... The hombre out roped you. Was that what you wanted? Well, not exactly. But you won. It's the best rope one I've ever seen. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. I'm one of the cabin. I want to talk to him. That was pretty good rope twirling. Uh, what do you want here? I thought perhaps you could use a man like me. Maybe I can. Is your business good? Oh, I ain't kicking. It was a good job in Benton last night. How did you know about it? Well, I heard. I guessed. It would have been better if the new kid out there hadn't started shooting. That brought the law on us. Isn't that boy pretty young to be with you? Oh, I don't know. He wanted to join up, so I took him on. When do I start to work? Wait a minute. Uh, what kind of a cut do you want? An even split. That's too much for a new man. I can shoot as well as I can rope. It's too much. Then I guess we can't do business. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Eh, yeah, all right. You'll get it. An even split. When's the next job? Tonight. Where? Bank in Littlefield. Know where it is? Yes, I know. We'll head there about 10 o'clock tonight. And I have some spare time, uh... I guess I'll water my horse. The creek's about five miles south. Can you find your way back? I think so. You know, stranger, now that we're partners, I can tell you something very funny. Tell me. For a minute, when you was twirling that rope out there, I thought you might be somebody else. Who's that? I've heard that hombre called the Lone Ranger handles a rope like that. Yes? But just now, I... He said it. I was wrong. Well, uh, what changed your mind? I don't think the Lone Ranger would ask for an even split on a bank job. No, I don't think he would either. I'll uh, see you later, Bat. Yeah. Wingy. Yeah? Tell that hombre. Don't let him out of your sight. <laughs> With the unerring instinct of his great horse, Silver, to guide him, the Lone Ranger found the trail that led out of Boxwood Canyon. He crossed and recrossed a mountain stream, then apparently backtracked on his own trail. But finally, he emerged into the open prairie. And giving the stallion his head, he urged the horse forward. Faster, Silver! Faster! We've got to reach Tunnel! They came to the abandoned Indian hut, and the Lone Ranger leaped to the ground. Steady. Hello. Hello. Uh, come in here. I found Lauren Mitchell, but I haven't been able to talk to him. Uh, what's on to do? Bat Walton and his gang are going to rob another bank tonight, Littlefield. Ride there as fast as you can. Tell the sheriff to cover the bank and wait for a signal for me. Uh, time to go. Walton doesn't know who I am, so... But I do. So reach, both of you. I might have known Walton would send someone to... Oh, my hand! I just shot your gun out of it. Here's something to keep you quiet. What we do now? Maybe we better tie him up, huh? No, I've got my reasons. I want Bat to know who I am later on. He isn't hurt, we leave him here. You've got to hurry, Tonto, and so have I. Steady, big fella. Remember, tell the sheriff to wait for my signal. Uh, Tonto, go fast. Get him up, scout. Now, Silver, back to Boxwood Canyon. Where am I? Lone 
train to return to the outlaw hideout just in time to join Bat Walton and ride to Littlefield for the planned bank robbery. He was confident that Walton was still unaware of his true identity. But as they rode rapidly down the canyon trail, he kept close to the outlaw so that he could meet any emergency or sudden move. Meanwhile, back at the hideout, Steve, who had been left behind, was surprised to hear another horseman ride to a sudden stop outside the cabin. Pat! Oh, Pat! Pat! Where is he? Pat's gone. Where? To Littlefield for the bank job. Uh, did that new hombre come back here? Yeah. And he left with Bat and the kid. Why? Oh, then you and me had better ride to Littlefield fast. Why? Because that critter that outroped you ain't no cowpuncher. He's a lone ranger. Lone ranger? How do you know? Well, I tailed him just like Bat told me to. He met an Indian and sent him on ahead. The law will have a trap set. I knew that hombre was no cowpuncher. Oh, come on, get your horse. We got to warn Bat. <laughs> Morning was destined to reach Bat Walton too late. For while Steve and Wingy were pushing their horses to the utmost, the bandit leader, together with a lone ranger and Lauren Mitchell, was crouched in the shadows beneath a back window of the little field bank. In his hands was a slender crowbar, which he applied expertly to the window frame. Just like opening the cracker box. Do we go in, Bat? Somebody should wait here. Both of you wait. This won't take long. I can blow this one alone. Help me through the window. <clears throat> What'll we do? Just keep your eyes peeled. Won't be a big blow off. It saves a small one. Wait here. Lauren and the Lone Ranger waited beneath the window for some time. Inside, they could hear Bat preparing the safe for the charge of gunpowder. Finally, the Lone Ranger spoke to the boy beside him. Yeah, this is a smart way to live. Plenty of money, no work. Sure it is. Have you been with Bat very long? No, but I'm learning fast. I uh, heard about your speed with a gun. Well, that was last night. I, I was nervous. There it goes. Bat never fails. Yes, he seems to always... I've got to have help. There's more than a safe than I figured on. Oh, why don't you stand watch? Lauren and I'll take care of it. All right, hurry up. Get in here. Yeah, well... Pack it in these bags. Get a move on. Come on, Lauren. There it is, wide open, waiting for us. Gee, I bet there's a million dollars here. Not quite a million. Here, hold the lantern. I'll dump the boxes and hand it to you. Okay. Yeah, a lot of personal papers here too. Now look, some securities and a mortgage. It's made out to uh, Mr. John T. Mitchell of Logan County. What? Well, that's my Paul. Another one, Mrs. Uh, Harriet Evans. I know her. She, she was my school teacher. And here's some money for a church. Do we have to take that? Oh, bank robbers take everything. Here's an envelope marked uh, hospital. Ought to be plenty in that. Here. I, I don't want it. Don't want it? What's the matter with you? I've just been thinking. Why should we take money that belongs to churches and hospitals and people who've worked hard to save it? Bank robbers either got money or a lot of lead bullets. Why shouldn't we take the cash? Well, you'll know we did it. I don't know what I did. I didn't think it would be this way. I, I thought that banks... Had would... lots of money that belonged to no one. Don't you know, Lauren, that every dollar in this safe belonged to somebody in this town or county? Oh, I've been a fool. But now I'm through. Through with Bat and you and everybody. Bat won't let you quit his gang. He'll kill you first. I'll take my chance. I'd a lot rather be dead than sneak by with his crowd. I'm going home. I believe you really mean that. Well, sure I mean it. Then shake, Lauren Mitchell. I'm proud of you. Shake? You, you mean you want to shake my hand because I won't... You've proved to be just like I thought you would. I, I don't understand. You I... made one mistake last night in Benton. No one will ever know about that as long as you never make another. I won't. But why are you telling me this? Because well, I won't. That's who he is, huh? The Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? I heard him say it myself. I'll do my talking with the lad. Quick, Lauren, kick over that lantern. Here. Back in the <laughs> They've doused the lights. I'll find him. Better double-cross me, eh? Come out of there. That thing's... No, he... Lauren. Use your gun, but not that way. Well, what do you mean? Come out of there. You double deal it's coming. Throw your pistol as hard as you can through that front window. Throw my gun? Why? It's a signal. Don't ask questions. Throw it. <laughs> They're getting away, Ben. Oh, they... What good did that do? Listen. Turn the back, Ben. This way. Smash them. Hello, man. We're trapped. Oh, as long as we can shoot, get down, both of you. 
Shoot him as they come through that door. Now listen to me, Lon. The other window in front. You'll have to jump through it. I don't know who you are, mister, but I'll go anywhere you go. Then follow me. There's a puncher and a kid up front. Now, you know where your horse is? It's right over there. Then run and ride for home. But you, how are you going to get away? Don't ask questions. Run. He's getting away. Tonto, Tonto. Uh, come here. Everything worked out, Tonto. Here, Silver Scouts. Good old Silver. Come here, boy. <laughs> Sheriff will take care of Bat Walton and his boys. Uh, Lauren Mitchell is safe at home. Very soon will be. Are we right now? Yes, Tonto. I think we've almost finished our job. Come on, Silver! Come on, Silver! Late the next day, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode to the ranch house of Flora and Lauren Mitchell. Oh, Silver's oh, telling oh, oh, telling oh, oh. Oh, I want to meet him. I see your brother's come home, Miss Mitchell. And I'm home to stay this time. I want to thank you. Was it you who found him? Most people who come home just find themselves. Say, I, I can't see your face on account of that mask, but don't I know you? Perhaps you do, Lauren. I wanted to be sure you kept your promise. You, the Lone Ranger. Oh, I'll always keep it. I'll remember that promise as long as I live. I hope so. Come on, Silver. Hit him up, Scout. Lauren, is he really the Lone Ranger? He really is, sis. And he's the square shooter that... Ever live. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.